Also, I want to read to you something that Daniel Webster wrote in 1823. He said, if religious books are not widely circulated among the masses, I do not know what is going to become of us as a nation. If truth be not diffused, error will be. If God and his word are not known and received, the devil and his works will gain ascendancy. If the evangelical volume does not reach every hamlet, the pages of a corrupt and licentious literature will. If the power of the gospel is not felt throughout the length and breadth of the land, anarchy and misrule, degradation and misery, corruption and darkness will reign without mitigation or end. That was Daniel Webster in 1823. He wrote that. I think that's an exhortation and an encouragement to us that we need to be sharing the gospel. We need to be sharing the truth of what Jesus Christ taught us, what the word of God is, and we need to be living it in these dark days. And we can through the power of the Holy Spirit. Tonight I had the privilege of leading some young people to Christ at, uh, at the burger joint here in North Miami. And uh, it was such a privilege to be able to talk to these young people about Jesus Christ and his offer of forgiveness for our sins and his offer of power to overcome our sins. This week I've been so discouraged by uh, situations in my life and obstacles. But you know what? The Holy Spirit's been contending with me that Jack, you need to have faith that can move mountains. It's not about your strength, but it's about the Lord's strength. So today, if you're someone who's far away from God, you need to know that Jesus Christ loves you. And the truth of God's word is that Jesus wants to help you overcome all the power of the enemy. If you're not a Christian, you need to know the wages of sin is death. Okay, that means that you and I are sinners and we deserve to go to hell. Just as I was talking to those young people, they got it. They were so humble. Their hearts were so open. Is your heart open? Do you get it? Do you get it that you're breaking God's laws and God and his justice has every right to send you to hell for all eternity? The wages of sin is death, physical death and spiritual death. But the second part of that verse in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, is that the gift of God is eternal life. The gift that God offers you and me is the gift of his son. Christmas that's approaching is about the celebration of Jesus Christ mass and what Jesus did is he lived a perfect life and then he went to the cross and he paid for your sin he paid for my sin so that we can be forgiven of all our past present and future sins and then we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit who comes and lives in our hearts and that Holy Spirit helps us to live a new life a life free from addiction a life free from misery a life free from turmoil. Finally, we become friends of God, and that offer is for you. I don't care where you're at. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care how hard your life situation is. One thing you can know is that God loves you. Romans 5, Paul the Apostle said through the inspiration of the Spirit that while we were sinners, God loved us and God demonstrated his love for us and the fact that he sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross. So God proved his love. If you're doubting right now whether God's gonna show up in your life, or you're doubting whether God cares about you, or whether God wants to forgive you, or whether God wants to heal you, or whether God wants to free you from oppression, demonic possession, or whatever you're going through, anxiety, you need to know right now that Jesus' love demonstrated on the cross proves the fact that God cares for you, and he's gonna help you out. Wow, that, I don't know about y'all, but that gives me hope. That gives me encouragement just hearing me preach about it. So the offer is for you. The gift of eternal life. The gift of relationship with Jesus. A gift of having your name written in the book of life. Will you receive that offer right now? Will you join us for worship this Sunday at the Gospel Hour with Impact Miami? Will you reach out to us if you need help? Will you, right now, let Jesus rule in your heart? 
as Christ and Lord. We love you. Reach out to us. Email me at jack at impactmiami.org or log on to our website, impactmiami.org. We love you. And most importantly, Jesus loves you. And he wants you to be free. He wants you to walk in the light. He wants to be the Lord of your heart. God bless you. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon.